After thoroughly replaying Super Mario Odyssey to find each and every moon, I discovered that there were several very secretive ones that were almost impossible to find without a guide. I knew immediately when I came across a few of these, I had to make a video, appropriately titled The Top 15 Most Hidden Moons in Super Mario Odyssey, showcasing the absolute most exclusive ones out there among the various kingdoms. Oh yeah, and before I get started, my name is Copycat, and if you haven't yet, then please subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button to stay notified when I upload new videos. Coming in at number 15 is the Fly to the Edge of the Fog Moon in the Cap Kingdom, which is located off the beaten path hidden beneath the thick clouds behind Cap Tower. This one only comes in so early in this video because you can sort of see the glow where the moon is if you look really carefully from a distance, but that being said, it can still be easily missed as it's in an awkward spot. There are a few more hidden in the fog for you to find in this kingdom using the Paragoomba, but none of them should really give you tons of difficulty. At 14, I wanted to talk about the Powering Up the Power Plant Moon, as it's found in a place in the Metro Kingdom that I didn't even realize you should go back to. That's the sewer system near the Outdoor Cafe, where once it returns to the power plant, a new box-based puzzle will suddenly appear. When you figure out how to finally line up the plug properly, you'll be rewarded with a moon for your servitude and hard work. I just think I would never have thought to go back to this area after completing it in the story, which is why it makes this list. The Shining Above the Moon, Moon, in the Moon Kingdom, is definitely one that's easy to miss as it's situated in the air behind the Odyssey, a bit obstructed from view. To be able to get that high up, you actually need to uncover hidden question mark boxes that are stacked on top of one another that allow you to platform upwards. This isn't a crazy tough moon to get in the end, but if you aren't carefully scanning your horizons, it can be easily missed. Up next, we're going to look at a moon called Knocking Down the Nice Frame, which is located in the Beneath the Keep area of Bowser's Kingdom. To even get on top of the archway where the frame is, you need to capture the Lakitu and use it to take you to the slingshot in the northwest corner of this area. Using that slingshot will send you flying to the top of the arcway, where all you need to do is use Cappy to knock the frame off and uncover the moon. Now I've passed this archway probably hundreds of times through my different playthroughs, and for some reason never realized that you could even interact with anything up there, so I had to include this one in this video. At number 11, we're going to look at a Luncheon Kingdom moon called Surrounded by the Tall Mountains, which can be found in an inconspicuous spot on the side of Mount Volbono. This spot is definitely off the beaten path in an area that you usually wouldn't traverse around unless you were intentionally looking for secrets. Once you find the right spot, which should be glowing, you just need to ground pound to uncover the moon and gain this pretty hidden one. One of the weirdest hidden moons in this video is the jumping from the flag to flag one in Bowser's Kingdom. They can be a bit hard to get to if you don't know what you're doing. If you look closely, you'll see that there's a key just behind the very last flag off the side of the ledge, where the only way to get it is by traversing from flagpole to flagpole without falling into the void below. Once you get the key, then the moon will uncover, and you'll be able to claim this pretty secretive prize. At number 9, we're going to look at a Snow Kingdom moon called Behind the Snowy Mountain, where you need to find the secretive path in one of the Shaviria Town sublevels. This is near the Rango boss battle area, where there's a somewhat hidden platform just below to the right, where you can follow it through some snowdrifts to find the alcove where the moon's located. This obscure spot is not easily found, and I think I randomly returned to this area and discovered it by luck during a subsequent playthrough. Next, I want to look at a very well-hidden moon that I completely missed during my first playthroughs that can be found during the New Donk City Festival in the Metro Kingdom. To find this one called Celebrating in the Streets, you need to traverse through the 2D section until you get to the upside-down platforming area and jump on top of the question mark blocks. You then need to jump again to uncover another set of hidden blocks that will allow you to go through the pipe to the secret room where the moons are located which is just kind of cool. Next, we're going to look at a Lake Kingdom sub-area moon called the Super Secret Zipper that I for some reason really struggled to find. 
Now, I do understand that the game makes it very clear that there's almost always two moons to find per sub-area, but for some reason my brain couldn't comprehend where this one could be located. Now, to get it, you have to unzip this one section of the wall, which will cause it to fall down. Then, you need to walk on that section, and unzip an even smaller zipper part, which will randomly send you falling through the clouds to the hidden room with the moon. Sort of weird, I don't know how I missed it, but oh well. Another Lake Kingdom moon that I definitely missed a few times initially is called Our Little Secret Moon, located in a very secretive room in the Water Plaza Dome. In that main area, there are four alcoves, where the one second from the right contains a hidden room where a lock lady exclaims her excitement in seeing you and gives you a prize. Once you know where this one is, it isn't that amazing of a spot, but can be missed if you aren't looking hard enough. At the fifth spot, I want to talk about the Captain Toad moons, where one is hidden throughout pretty much each kingdom of the game. The most notable ones include the one on the side of the cliff in the Cascade Kingdom, the one through the hole in the wall in the Lost Kingdom, the one on the higher up cliff in the Seaside Kingdom, the one in the sand that can only be uncovered using the Lakitu in the Sand Kingdom, and the one past one of the boss doors on the dark side of the moon. I like how well this toad is intentionally hidden, and him showing up in each kingdom means you know you need to look out for this mushroom head along your journey. Another collection of moons that can be hard to find are the rolling rock ones, where you need to do just that so they'll break open and expose your prize. However, at times even locating these rocks are no easy task, especially the one in the deep woods area of the Wooded Kingdom as it's tucked right up against the wall, barely visible. Making things even harder is the darker tone to this section of the level, so it's hard to spot where this one is, Plus, it's not glowing like it usually should be, so good luck finding it without a guide. Probably my favorite hidden moon in this video is the one called Hidden Room in the Floating Sands, which is found near the Tostarena Ruins of the Sand Kingdom. To get this one, you need to look for the small gap just below the wall, but above the sand near the main tower, and let Mario sink partially into the ground. In this state, you can actually slowly jump forward until it's revealed that there's actually a secret room behind the wall containing this moon. For some reason when I first found this, it was extremely satisfying and I knew I had to showcase this for you guys. Another Sand Kingdom moon that's even more well hidden is found through a secret entrance to an area inside of the inverted pyramid. To get to it, you need to find this section where the pillars are moving on a conveyor belt and ride it until it takes you through the slit in the wall and to this room that contains the moon. In all honesty, I would never have thought to go through this space in the wall as it doesn't even look like a secret would be there, and it's in such a remote spot in the kingdom that you'd probably never think to return and look. Before we get to the number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Coming in at number 1 in this video is a moon called A Treasure Made of Coins that can be gotten in the deep woods area of the Wooded Kingdom. Without a fan's help during one of my live streams, I don't think I'd ever realize how to get this one as you have to capture the invisible, tough to locate coin coffer and bring it to this small pond along the creek. Here you'll see one flower that's somewhat out of place that will oddly start to grow if you shoot it with coins. What I didn't know is that you literally have to continuously shoot this flower for several minutes, wasting hundreds of coins in order to ensure it grows to the point where it will finally reveal this moon, which is a mechanic that's never revisited in any way anywhere else in the game, making it very confusing to figure out. Alright, that's going to be it for today's video guys, I really hope you did enjoy this one. If I left anything out that you think should have been included, then please let me know in the comments. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to stay notified when I upload new videos. Hope you guys all have a good day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!